Hey guys, it's Mariah Nicole and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, subscribe, welcome. I teach women how to date wealthy men, high value men. Today, we are gonna go over some simple red flags that I feel like need to be addressed, need to be discussed, that men commonly find in women and why these women are not attracting the type of men that they are wanting. If you constantly find yourself not being able to attract a high value man, a wealthy man, even a simple provider man, right? Because a man does not have to be wealthy ladies in order to provide for you, okay? You just are in his dream girl or he really just doesn't like you, okay? Watch my other videos to get more advice on that situation. If you find yourself constantly in those situations or constantly finding like you're attracting dusty men or men who don't want to pay your bills men who don't want to provide fully for you you could possess one of these red flags and it is important that i address this with you so that you can fix it and try to better your outcome recently on my tiktok i did do a video where i talked about three things that you should know about dating wealthy men and i feel like a lot of women don't understand that in 2024 we have been coddled we have been taught that men are the problem men are the reason why you know our society and our dating pool has gone to shit men this men that men blah 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 and while i do agree with some things i don't agree with all of it i do feel like there is a reason why men are not stepping up to the plate anymore and being men part of it is that women are accepting this bare minimum treatment they're accepting this peasant treatment not princess treatment right and they are allowing a man not to show up for them and provide for them fully. So it is causing men to not want to work that hard. And in return, they're not very invested into these relationships. So it is making men not want to commit. So with that being said, you guys know I'm going to give it to you guys real. I don't sugarcoat. I don't, I am not in the business of allowing women to stay ignorant and allowing women to continuously lose if you are the type of woman that doesn't like to take accountability for being the issue sometimes go ahead and click off this video unsubscribe block me do whatever it is you need to do because this is not the page where i tell women that they are not the problem this is not the page where i enable women to do whatever it is the fuck that they want to do and say men are the problem cheat back be a terrible person fuck these dudes they ain't shit i'm not that type of woman ladies nine times out of ten in my coaching calls when i am talking to women a lot of the times they already have a provider man they already have a wealthy man they already have a man that's doing for them and yet they still find problems in that relationship and yet they still find a reason why he's not good enough or why you know they deserve more or they deserve better instead of looking around at the dating pool that we have and realizing that you are actually privileged to even have a provider man in 2024 and as much as we want to say oh are you teaching women to settle are you teaching women to not want more for themselves absolutely not you can dream and have hopes and prayers and wishes all you want. But at the end of the day, ladies, I am a realist. Okay. I go off of statistics. I go off of facts. I also go off the actual statements and opinions from our consumers and from these sorts of men. And this is the feedback that I have received from these men. And some of the feedback that I have to add to the reasons why I see that these women are not retaining these types of men, number one, and even being able to have a chance with these types of men because they do not possess green flags. Instead, they possess these five red flags. So let's just jump right into it. Number one, you are too greedy. You are looking to get something from a man right away, first date, you know, right off the bat, before you even jump on a phone call with a man, before you even meet a man in person, before you even know if the man even has any money, you have no patience, you are trying to get some money 
quick, fast, and in a hurry. Another way that you can show that you are greedy is that a man is already providing for you. A man is already giving you the most that he can do and you are still believing that it's not enough. You are blowing the money. You are trying to find another man who has even more money and you are not appreciating the man that is already doing for you. Ladies, take my advice when I say, yes, you are single until you're married. And yes, if you want to go find you another provider man, another wealthy man who can do more for you, by all means, if that's what you truly feel like you need to do in your heart, I'm not going to argue with you. However, I am going to give you the real. Look around, ladies and gentlemen. Only 10% of men, 10 to 15% of men make $100,000 or more in the United States of America. If you don't live in the United States of America, Google where you live and look up the statistics. I'm going to go off the country that I live in, okay? Only 10%, 10 to 15% of men make $100,000 or more. So if I'm having a wealthy man that is giving me X amount of dollars per month and I'm okay with that, it's covering my bills, it's covering my necessities, it's covering things that I enjoy and he treats me right and he has no issues and, you know, I'm considering this man for marriage, I am not going to try to find the next best thing because we always ridicule men for trying to find the younger woman, the more beautiful woman, the more fit woman, the more skinnier woman. And yet we are consistently trying to find the richer man, the richer man, the richer man, the man who gives more, the man who's more generous instead of being happy where we are, especially in today's times where instant gratification and a false illusion of options, what I like to call it, where we think that there is always better, always more, always this, always that, when that is just not the case, ladies. I blame social media. I blame dating apps. I blame a lot of online platforms for why women and men think this way. If you are with a man who's consistently trying to replace you, has wandering eyes, things like that, I would easily tell you to break up with him. Why wouldn't I tell a man to break up with a woman who has wandering eyes for the next richer man? It just doesn't make sense, ladies. So if you are too greedy, a man has every reason to leave you because there are women that will accept breadcrumbs from Dusty's and you're complaining that you're only getting $3,000 a month? Really, ma'am? The average man does not even have $3,000 a month to give. You need to be thankful and you need to be grateful. Okay? This is your wake-up call. Because you comparing your allowance or you comparing the money that a man gives you to another woman that you've never even met a day in your life, me, a lot of women do that. Comparing your allowance to your friends and, and family members who are telling you that's not enough or telling you, oh, he's cheap. Oh, he needs to be giving you more, blah, blah, blah. And don't even have a man that gives them $2. You're delusional, ma'am. It's time to wake the fuck up because you're going to lose that man. And I'm going to tell you right now. I got a whole bunch of hungry clients that will jump on your man in 2.5 seconds. Watch your back, ladies. I'm telling you, y'all be taking these men for granted just for another woman to come swipe him up. Call me a pick Misha for that. I don't care. I live in the real motherfucking world. And I go off of fairness. That's how I was raised. What's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. A man should be providing for you. A man should be taking care of you. A man should be doing what men do. But a woman needs to be grateful and appreciative to inspire him to do more. To inspire him to give you that amount. To inspire him to take care of you. He's not just taking care of you, you know, because he's fearful you'll get another man. No, he likes taking care of you because you make him happy. And he likes to see you happy. So if he's doing everything right and your allowance just isn't as high as you want it to be, still be grateful and appreciative, but maybe have a conversation to where you can raise your allowance if he allows it to be raised. But still, do not go around telling other women, you know, should I marry him? Should I do this? Should I that? Other women are going to guide you not to even date him at all because they want your man. 
okay? Be grateful. Be thankful. The more grateful and thankful that you are, the more the man is going to want to take care of you, ladies. Come on. And that brings me to the second one. Ungrateful. Right? A man's buying you gifts. A man's taking care of you. A man's giving you his last, which I don't recommend. I do not recommend you take a man's last. I recommend you find another man or tell the man, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to take your last because I just feel like that's bad character, right? But not being grateful, ladies, is a sign of terrible character. If you're not grateful for $3,000 a month, you're not going to be grateful for $10,000. you are always going to be, you know, comparing yourself to the next woman, to the next Instagram post, to the next car, to the next, you know, rich man, to, Je you know, Jeff Bezos' new wife. Like, you're going to be continuously comparing yourself and you're never going to be happy. So why would a man want to marry you? It's like you are a liability more than you are an asset. Okay? Because number 1, let's really let's really think about this. What are you spending all that money on anyway? Let's be fucking for real. And if you have outstanding debts or you have outstanding bills that are, you know, past the amount that he's allowing you to have, then you need to discuss that privately. There are certain things that you need to discuss privately with your man that nobody else should know, okay? Your sister shouldn't know. Your mother shouldn't know, okay? What you discuss with your husband or what you discuss with your man should stay between you and your man. And if you absolutely need to share it to a third party, it should be a therapist or a person who has absolutely no ties to either one of you that is going to remain neutral and give it to you straight up and that person is going to be me if you do need to talk to somebody about a situation that you are not sure what to do feel free to book a call with me i'm going to leave my coaching call link in the description down below where we can have a one-on-one -on -one chat but i always recommend you to never share your personal business with your man and your relationship with your friends, your family members, or people who have any tor any type of a bias towards your situation. It should always be a third party, a therapist, somebody who can remain neutral. Number three, you do not possess the highly desired traits. And of course, one of the highly desired traits is grateful. Okay, it's fit, feminine, beautiful, cooperative, submissive, Beautiful, positive, inspirational, grateful. I think I said beautiful twice, but we know that men are visual, baby. So if you don't have those, red flag, he is going to say, you know what? This woman is not my wife. She's not my wife. Even if you are getting money out of the man, he's going to give you a few dollars, a few thousand dollars and dip. Okay? You are not going to be wifey material. These are red flags simple i don't need to go on and on and on about this because i have another video on the highly desired traits okay. the video is titled what a wealthy man actually wants in a woman also along with this is you're not fun for the man you know you're a little bit too uptight it's almost as if he's dealing with corporate it's almost as if he's dealing with hr he doesn't feel like you're fun he doesn't feel like you're a good time you're always Standing on business a little bit too much to the point where he can't let loose. He I'm standing on business. He's standing on business. I, I'm standing on He can't be himself. And ladies, let's be honest. You wouldn't want to date a man that you could not be yourself around. Right? You would feel uncomfortable. You would feel like he's controlling. You would feel like there's a red flag there. So you need to also understand that a man who cannot have fun with you, who cannot let his hair down with you, as we like to say, who cannot feel like peaceful with you, he's going to think that you are a red flag and it's going to be like he's at work all the time. You know, nobody wants to feel that way, ladies. Let's sometimes you have to put yourself in other people's shoes and be a real fucking person. And think just because this man is wealthy and paying my bill doesn't mean that this man doesn't deserve a loving partner, doesn't deserve a partner who cares about them, doesn't deserve a partner who, you know, can share their wealth with them, but isn't just there for that. You know what I mean? It is essential that a man takes care of you, provides for you, yes. But 
I honestly, I know I'm going to have a wealthy son and I would tell him to run for the fucking hills if he met a woman who was ungrateful, if he met a woman with any of these red flags, and especially a woman who he felt like he couldn't let his hair down with because he can let his hair down with his mama. So if he can't let his hair down with his woman, red fucking flag, run, run, son, run. Okay, get another girl. The last red flag, ladies, that I want to talk about today, number five, is acting like one of the bros. Acting like, you know, you are just trying to please him in any way, shape, or form to the point where it's fake. To the point where you are acting masculine and to the point where he feels like you're one of his homies. he, You're one of his homeboys. You're, you're one of the bros, right, bro? You're over here, you know, trying to please him in any way, shape, or form to the point where you're not holding him accountable for his mistakes. You're not making him a better man. You're allowing him to cheat, lie, steal right in front of your face, disrespect you. You're trying to be Miss Pick Misha. And hang out with him and the boys and talk about sports all the time, right? You are a red flag. Because at that point, a man doesn't feel like you are his partner. He feels like you are his friend. And then you start getting offended when he starts treating you like his friend, okay? When he starts treating you like you're one of the bros. When he starts talking about how other women are fine and how, you know having wandering eyes for other women around you asking you if if you think she's cute and you're like all offended when you've been acting like one of the bros ma'am he's now going to start treating you like one of the bros okay this is a red flag to a man ladies because he will automatically put you in the friend category even if you guys were dating he will pull you to the side and let you know hey you know what i think we're better off as friends don't you a man's nature will not feel comfortable enough to be your homeboy. You're beautiful. You're fit. You're feminine. You're everything that he desires. And you're still acting like a pick me. And you're still wanting to be around him 24-7. It's giving insecure. It's giving he's dating a man and he feels uncomfortable because he signed up to date a woman. Not one of his homies. So ladies... Remember that when you are doing these things, you are doing it to yourself. You are putting yourself in the category of a friend. You are putting yourself in the category of not wifey material. And, you know, with some of these ungrateful, not feminine and things like that, you're not even putting yourself in the friend category. You're, you're Xing yourself out. And so I wanted to make this video on some common red flags that I'm seeing um, for women that wealthy men and men of means and provider high value men are not going to like so that you guys avoid these if you guys are getting back into the dating pool or you know it answers some of your questions as to why you may not be attracting these types of men if you resonated with any of these or if you did in the past and you changed it Leave us a comment down below. We'd like to know what it is that you did in order to level yourself up to stop acting that way. What did it take to kind of hit you and let you know, you know what, I'm doing something wrong here. Leave us a comment down below and let us know. It would really help the other girls, um, you know, when we all come together as a community and help one another. Like this video if you guys want more. I want to do five major red flags on a wealthy man right because why not why shouldn't we discuss that topic so if you guys want that give this video a thumbs up so i know to make that video and subscribe if you want more content like this turn on my post notifications so you guys are the first to know the 411 on becoming a highly desired woman and i love you guys so much we are growing on youtube and i'm so happy follow me on my instagram for daily posts on hypergamy dating at the highly desired follow me on tiktok at miss mariah .nicole for and yeah thank you guys so much i greatly appreciate it be sure to check out my ebooks on my website thehighlydesired.com talk to you guys soon bye